everybody so in the previous video we understood what auto ml is what are its benefit and whether it will be a danger for data scientist job or not right after this in this video what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn how can we create or develop the models using teapot auto mod auto ml module or library all right so let's get started so if you remember in the in the channel we covered in the in the past some time uh, all right so if you are someone who is watching this video for the first time possibly you might have not seen this and like i said that uh, uh, to run the auto ml you don't necessarily need to have uh you know very good technical skills so yeah don't worry about this too if you have not seen but if you're someone who have seen this if you are someone who keep on frequently visiting my uh, channel then uh, these are the two videos which you might have seen and you saw that why we created two videos for the same problem right in the in the first one we use logistic regression in the second one we tried different model techniques so what exactly was happening over here we were trying different different model techniques and to to find the best fitted model which could give you the best solution right so that's the problem you see over here to to do that we had to create two videos right one is for 34 minute then the other one is for 26 minute right and it takes more effort to find the best suitable model and all those things right so that's the problem which gets solved when you jump to the auto auto ml right and here we are just going to use teapot to achieve this thing all right so let's get started i'll i'll take you directly to the jupyter notebook first thing which you need to do is install tip uh teapot right so what you can do is you just simply say note of exclamation do not forget to put that this exclamation sign pip then you say install and then you say simple teapot all right so once this is the, oh, the moment you execute this it will be installed because it is already installed my system i will not do that so what i'm going to do is i will just say teapot from teapot this is the classification uh, problem so i will be using teapot classifier right from teapot import teapot classifier So here we got our teapot classifier. Let's import that because we have to import the data frame also. So I'm going to say import pandas as pd, import numpy as np. If you're someone who does not have very good uh, knowledge of all these things, at least I am assuming that you understand what these libraries are. If not, just follow the same thing which I am doing. You don't need to worry much about. The next thing which we're going to do is import our data frame, right? So let's say df equals to pd dot read csv and into that we have our data frame we have our data frame stored over here or let me do one thing i'll directly copy it from here this is my data frame and if you see the heading so this is how the data looks like just give it let's give it a second so you see here this is how the data looks like so this is a cleaned version of the data so you need to keep one thing in the mind if you're working on the data auto auto ml right still you would have to do the data standardization or data engineering you can say right at your own right because you know you need to make the data suitable enough for a model to run now here we have our data let's see what is the volume of this data that you can check using tf dot shape so this is the cleaned version of the data keep in mind so i i did the cleaning before and then i'm using this so you see the here we have approximately you know 2.7 million of records right approximately 2.7 is that correct yes 2.7 million of records so what we're gonna do is because see it is likely to take much time so what i'll do is i'll take random sample of 50 percent right so let's me let me create another data frame and here i would say df dot sample and into that i'm going to say frac equals to 0.5 all right 0.5 and now if you see tf2 dot shape oops why do i keep on 
using the brackets so you see this is 50 percent of this now we are good to go ahead and you know do the train test split so as usual and like other uh, whenever we are developing the other models we usually do the uh, train test split same thing we are going to do over here as well so how can we do that so for that you're gonna say from sklearn learn dot model selection import train test train test split all right done let's say train test split and let me just scroll it down you can also do this it it makes the thing quick right so what i'm going to do is i'll just take these parameters from right from here these parameters let me just go down a little bit all right so let's just put it over here trend test split and into this i'm going to say df2 dot drop because see in this data frame in this day in this data frame this column is fraud is the target variable okay rest of our uh, rest all of the variables or attributes or columns are the input data so i have to drop for x train i'll have to drop that okay is fraud i gotta say is fraud and here axis equals to one and then what i'm going to say to is here everything remaining this and then here i would say tf2 dot is fraud so what primarily i'm doing is for y data set i'm keeping only is fraud and for x data set i'm keeping everything other than is fraud then i need to specify the test size so i will take 0 0.2 which is 20 percent of the data i will keep as test size and then random sample random state i'm going to say false for now i'm keeping random sample as false hmm? that uh, that that makes it easy and every time when you run this it won't give you a different result so that is the only purpose okay if you're not able to see this i'll put it in two lines right now this looks good enough then let's see the size of each of the data display display x train x train dot shape then i would say x taste you can skip this part if you are not interested in uh, you know checking out this thing right y train i just want you to see the how can you check what is the data that you have available for training and testing now this is pretty much clear next thing which comes is creating the model so for model i'm going to say classifier uh teapot classifier and into this two parameters which you need to specify uh, you can see what all are the parameters that are available to be used into this so you see n number of parameters are available which you can you know you can go through this all right you can go through this all and you can understand what all these pa parameters are so here we are going to use two things number one we will su uh, supply the time and then the number two this thing which we are going to use verbosity what verbosity is you can just go through this uh, it's nothing but uh, you know control mechanism for the supplied data right so it is uh, it is defined all over here right if you if you go through this definition over here you will find verbosity what verbosity is how does it work and all those things right so i just hope that it is clear to you now over here i will come and i would say verbosity equals to two this is just for high thing okay and then here i'm going to say max minutes i'll say 10 so what does this 10 minutes means is it will uh, ask teapot classifier to not take more than 10 minutes to you know evaluate the pipelines okay if if it is taking longer it will stop after the 10 minutes no so, so this is done model is created now the time comes when we should do the model fit then we're gonna say fit and here you can say train and then you can say y train all right now it will take approximately 10 minutes till that time i'll pause the video because the data set is huge so it's gonna take completely 10 minutes okay so i'll pause the video till then and then i'll i'll explain 
all right everybody so it took quite some time right so let's say it now it has completed like you can see it has only done the optimization six percent because the data was also huge and in 10 minutes it could man is to do the optimization for six percent only there was a small mistake which i made here i had said df2 dot is fraud rather you should put it this way okay so just keep that in mind now after that what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the score of this model dot score we're gonna use our taste data so here i have x taste and then i'm going to use y taste and let's see what is the score so 99 percent score that we are giving let's have a look on this output so you see it it did the optimization using its pipeline and uh on itself it came up with the solution that sgd classifier is the best fit model which should be used on this data this is sgd is nothing but stochastic gradient descent class classifier right and these are the best suited parameter which it came up with right so like you can see it is automatically you know finding what is the best fit alpha eta and uh, in short we can you can say that in on on itself it's uh, it's doing the you know hyper parameter tuning and all those things so this is how you see this is how you can make your uh, model building work very simple so if this is something which is confusing you just need to focus on this part here we imported the data right and then here we did the trend test split of the data considering your data is clean right we just did the trend test split and then we did the model fit and here we have the result for our test data set now whatever data you receive you can just use model dot uh, score and then you put your input data and then you're gonna get the result all right so i just hope that it was clear to you just in case of any doubt feel free to put that into the comment section i'll definitely try to help you out until then happy learning wish you all the best